Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3. Um, in the last episode, we came up here to this, uh, uh, where the hell's the thing I'm looking for, Love Action Rifle, thank you. We came up here to this nondescript portion of the hill that we're, uh, wandering about looking at other places, but we're on our way to the Arkandove Cathedral next, which is where we'll be going after we kill these ghouls. Now, uh, I've actually already done this, uh, once, but I had a recording problem, so I had to start the whole video over again. Yay! Woohoo! I actually only got a few minutes in, so it's not like I've got anything spoiled for me, really. But, basically, I wanted to test out the, uh, lever action revolver on these ghouls, and it works just perfectly well. Which isn't surprising, because they're only ghouls. Even though they are swamp ghouls, and I'm sure they're probably a slightly higher level than the ghouls in the main game or something, but I don't know where the body of the Reaver went. Or Roamer, I mean. I don't know where his body flew off to, so I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> but yeah, um, nice detail I want to point out is that th uh, they are called swamp ghouls, and they are actually slightly different enemy because they have been colored as if they're as if they've been walking around in the uh, you know in the swamp so they're covered in mud and and filth and everything like that so it's a nice detail I like it I like it a lot yes all right so anyway there you go that's the uh, Ark and Dove Cathedral and I believe the speaker right there on the wall is going to start talking to us when we walk up to it. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, discovered Ark and Dove Cathedral. Hark, who goes there? Hello. Who lingers at the threshold of transcendence? I seek the wisdom of your people. May I join your tribe? Seriously, the threshold of transcendence? Transcendence? Just let me in already. Yeah, I seek the wisdom of your people. So we're going to... Uh, I don't actually know if you can get in by choosing the, uh, you know, more aggressive dialogue options, but certainly the easiest way is to trick them into thinking that you want to become one of them. What's this? A humble traveler, seeking the guidance of our awakened minds. Truly, this is a glorious day. You are from far away, and must be strong indeed to have traveled this far. But strength is nothing without the guidance of the enlightened mind. If you seek entry, you must be prepared to expand your consciousness. You must prove yourself worthy to transcend. I have no fear. I will take your test and I will be victorious. I'm not so sure about this. Tell me more. Yeah, yeah, sure. Be victorious. You may not be so brave when you face the ritual of the Mother Seed. Stronger souls than you have attempted it and lost their minds. Venture west to the Great Bog. And within you shall find the mother of all punga fruit. She stands taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Collect her seeds, and kneel before her wisdom. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. Okay, got it. Also, that is a, a cliche that, like, really annoys the hell out of me. The whole uh, line, stronger people than you have done X and lost, basically, because a lot of the time, and in this case included, the, uh, the person saying that line is just speaking out of their ass, uh, because he can't see me through the telecom, and even if he could see me, my appearance isn't gonna tell him how powerful I am, or how strong my soul is, or whatever. Um, let's get rid of some of these, I guess. Because I need to, uh, whoops, not repair. Well, I, I, I guess I might as well repair one of these. I guess it's better to use it that way than just tossing them out. Sure, one more. Okay, I need to keep my weight low because I need to carry lots of these stupid punga fruit. So I can turn them into the lady so she can make her moonshine. Um, now where are we going? Where are we going? All the way over there. Awesome. So let's just 
fast travel to Marguerite's shack, and while we're on our way to Sacred Bog Entrance, I'll stop off at at least these three areas. Might check out those ones as well, not sure. We'll see what happens. Um, but also, because every time that line is used, the whole, oh, fading in-house, nice. Every time that uh, line is used, the whole blah blah blah, stronger than you, have done the thing, and they failed, um, it, it never turns out to be true, because, I mean, in this specific instance, we're going to go do their little trial, and he says people with stronger souls have done it and uh, gone mad. But clearly, if I end up being able to do it, that means he was wrong, and that my soul was stronger, or whatever. Like, it's... It, it, it defies logic for one person who is less apt to complete a, uh, a task could complete it when someone who is more apt to complete it couldn't. Okay, you guys want to stand still? Thanks. Cool. Thanks. You guys are so cooperative. Thank you. Much, much more than your uh, friends from earlier. They tried hitting me. Can you believe that? Can you believe that, guys? Seriously. Okay, those are just ghouls over there, and I don't think that's an area. Is it? Well, it might be... No, a little tyke playhouse would be over in that direction. That that right there is probably the little tyke playhouse. Okay, but let's go loot their bodies. But, yeah. Because it, it... I mean... If I was to, uh... Oh, hey, there's another one over there. I sort of walked past him and missed him. Interesting. If, if I was to, you know, go and complete their little task, it would prove that I'm actually stronger than the people who, uh... who failed it. And that would mean his entire assessment was wrong. So it's just annoying. But whatever. Wow, you guys don't have anything good on you. Okay. I'll have to kill your friend and see if he has anything. Um, also, in the last episode, we picked up a new weapon, the Paws Fishing Aid, and I didn't mention anything. I thought it was kind of weird that we had found it, because I thought that the game, that, uh, sorry, that that gun had been removed from the, uh, the final version of the game. Okay, um... Oh, wait, Little Tykes Playhouse is one of the places we meant to go. So let's go to it, then. Let's go to it. I'll head right there first. Um, and I, I looked it up after finishing that last episode, and it turns out I was right. Actually, the, uh, <laughs> the, the pause fishing aid was removed from the game, from the final version of the game, and it was never patched in in the future, to the best of my knowledge. Um... And apparently, uh, I did guess right, the difference between the pause fishing aid and the regular double barrel shotgun is that even though it does slightly less damage, um, it has a much higher crit chance, and it has also much higher uh, crit damage. So the, the multiplier it gets from critical attacks is higher. And since you can guarantee critical attacks with sneak crits... Um, the damage it can do is pretty much insane, and that's the reason it was removed from the game, because it was found out that with the right combination of perks and stuff... Red Racer Jumpsuit, I don't want that. With the right combination of perks and skills and everything, you could literally one-shot any enemy in the game with a sneak crit from Paws Fishing Aid. And so that's why they removed it from the game, because it was too powerful, and I guess instead of... Uh, refine the weapon and make it more reasonable, they decided just to remove it outright. Which, uh, doesn't make me happy. I don't like when content gets removed simply because it doesn't, uh, you know, immediately work perfectly. I think, personally, I just prefer that the content, you know, be given a chance to be reworked in some way. But, uh, it, it also could have been a, uh, 
Uh, so yes, that's, that, that was the little text playhouse, if I'm not mistaken. Right, yeah, good. Let's go to the flooded sinkhole next. Um, but yeah, it also could have been a case of maybe they decided it was too powerful very late into the development of the DLC and had to remove it and didn't have time to change it. If that's the case, then I can't blame them because, you know, what are you going to do? If you run out of money or if you run out of time or anything like that, you don't have a choice. You know, you just need to do what you can to get the product out on schedule and all that. And that's a, that's a problem that literally every video game ever faces at some point during development. There's not a game in existence that has absolutely all of the content. What the hell? Oh, this is the one I shot earlier. Okay. I thought that looked flesh-colored. <laughs> okay. It's... Oh. We've actually gone past the sinkhole and up to the trash heap, which I guess would be right across the water. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess we're just exploring this entire end of the map since we're over here. Alright, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, that, that's something just every video game has to deal with during development is, uh, you know, not having enough, enough time to... Oh, hey, Trash Heap, you are covered in radiation. Let me, uh, put on my radiation suit. Which only barely helps. Oh boy. Okay, anything around here? Uh, not there. I see some glowing ghouls over there in a little building, so... That's probably where the good stuff is. Out in the nondescript area of the wasteland. Alright. Well, first let's, uh... Take some rat away. Because I got hit with that poisoning. And... I missed. Awesome. Fantastic. Just wonderful. Alright, let's get a better angle. Also, is there another one? There's another one right there. Fantastic. Alright, let's just go for a chest shot. How about that? How are that not... Okay, so that did hit him. He's just too tough. Alright. Well, in that case, let's, uh... Give him a skull full of lead. Oh, okay. Only took one shot. Neat. I, I, I planned it that way. I swear I did. Um, but anyway, yeah. So basically, Pause Fishing Aid was removed from the game. And the reason I have it, uh, I guess one of the mods that I installed. But that isn't a satisfactory answer for myself. Because I didn't install a mod specifically to remove that back in. So that means one of the mods that I installed for, you know, something else also happened to add pause fishing aid into the game. But I can't figure out which mod it is. Because I checked all of them. Literally all of them. I've only got like a dozen mods installed in this right now. Um, but I checked all of them, and none of them list adding pause fishing aid back into the game as a feature. So, somebody's not being honest. Somebody added the, the, the cut content of pause fishing aid back into the game and didn't list it amongst the features of their mod. And I installed that mod, and now I have this overpowered gun in my inventory. Which I don't mind. Honestly, I'm not, like... I'm, I'm not saying I wish I didn't have that mod installed, or I wish I didn't have pause fishing aid. I don't care if it's overpowered. I mean, if anything, having a really powerful gun will just make up for the fact that I, uh... You know what, let's just take a buff out. Increase our... Oh, that's not even enough! Wait, it didn't increase our weight capacity at all. That's weird. Okay. Um, well, we'll have to get rid of something then. Shit. Oh, we can repair a little bit of this. Um, yeah, that got that got it under, I guess. How many Punga Fruit do we have? Because we only need... Find 
three wild thirty five. Oh, we only need twenty. So let's stop getting refined punga fruit. And there's nothing in this shack either. That's disappointing. Oh well. That's a weird looking tree. Did somebody put a tarp over the tree? That's not very effective shelter. It's not going to do much. I mean, it might protect you from the rain if there's absolutely no wind and the rain is only coming straight down. Then that might work. Or is that a is that a parachute? Did somebody Yeah, I think that's a parachute. I think it's a parachute and somebody fell. Yeah, this dude. This was a U.S. soldier. The hell is he doing here? Why the hell would a U.S. soldier be uh, dropping into Point Lookout? I forget the state this is in, but this is in America, obviously, and it's not even far from D.C. It's far in real life, but it's not. It's not really far far in the game world. That is weird. Okay. Sorry for the cut there. Had to go take care of something. But anyway. Yeah, I, I don't know why a uh, United States soldier would be flying down. There's his crashed plane. I guess we'll take a look at that next. Is this a location? I feel like it is. Yeah, jet crash site. Okay. Alright. Oh, fuck. The, the Reaver ran away. A lot of punga fruit around here. Guess that's good. You know what? Let's, uh... Can we get... 39%. There's no way that's gonna work. Hmm. Any weapon that I use that would be accurate enough to shoot him from afar is gonna make noise. And then that's going to possibly alert the Reaver. Now he's moving, so he just wants to make it extra hard for me. Well, no, he's standing up, so... Alright, awesome. Okay. And there's another one over to the left here. Let me jump up on this rock again. No. Oh, that's won't even target him. Alright. In that case, let's move around. I'm going to quick save, because I just realized I've walked a very long distance in the outdoors, and if I die here, there is nothing... Oh, okay. So just one of you, then. Okay. Awesome, yes. You've discovered the jet crash site. And these are, uh... These roamers are all U.S. soldiers, aren't they? Hmm. Alright. Well, let's take a psycho. What's the moonshine do again? Nothing we want, and it weighs two. I should get rid of that. Just realized I had it. Okay. Alright. There you go. You take that, and, uh... You know what? Pause fishing aid, I guess. Which suddenly does 105? Oh, it's because I took the Psycho. Duh. I forgot that the Psycho damage bonus is reflected in the, uh... In the thing. Alright. You, uh, actually, let's shoot you in the leg. Oh, and... <laughs> Let's switch to Olsen's outfit. Ah! Oh, 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 get back. Ow. Jerk, don't kill me. That missed completely. There you go. Awesome. Whew, that was close. Thank God I had the, uh, the psycho on. He almost messed me up. 
All right, let's eat a bunch of this hunger fruit because uh, we only need twenty. And uh, one stim. Hey, we're over a thousand stim packs now. I just realized that is awesome. We've reached our goal. We can die happy now. Not really. <sighs> Do I even have? Is pause fishing aid my number two? It is not. Let's make that number two, then. It was set to number five. Why would it be set to number five? What's my number six? That's Paulson's. Let's set the lever action to number five. There you go. So now I've got all painless, pause fishing aid, perforator, sniper, lever action, Paulson's. Okay. Sorry, just had to remind myself of what everything was. What all my keybinds were set to for the numbers. Alright. Some 10mm rounds. Buff out. First aid. Turpentine. Center module. Oh, uh, we also need to keep a lookout for a fission battery, don't we? Because the, the crazy lady with her moonshine needs it. Hey! Ammunition. Awesome. All right, so it doesn't answer the question of why they were here, but also why are there so many woodcutters axes? Did the locals attack the soldiers using axes and shovels, and some of the locals died in the attack and left their axes behind, or did the soldiers? bring axes with them. Like, I, I'm sure that's not too far-fetched of a tool that you might bring one with you if you're, you know, driving around, going into enemy territory, because, you know, you might need to cut down wood to make shelter or something. I don't know. And I also don't know what direction we're going in. I'm just kind of walking in a vague direction that I think is correct. What's that building over there? Get the hell down, cat. That is the Trapper Shack. Okay, let's go to it then. I saw a guy out here a second ago. Oh, there he is. There's another one. There you go. Oh, another one. Oh, no. Didn't kill him. Alright, if we back up. He won't find us. Hopefully. Hopefully. I can hear yo. If you can hear me, then why don't you turn your head? There you go. The other one is unaware, right? Yes, good. Alright, what do you have on you? Lever action rifle. Thank you, I'll take that. And some psycho. Thank you. I use that too. Just used up one of them. To kill your neighbors. Awesome. I like enemies with big, easily targetable heads. They make my job easier. You discovered the trapper shack. Yes, I have. Thank you for letting me know, game. Thank you. And please don't die on me, frame rate. What did I do to deserve this? Let's eat another punga fruit. Just because we can. Oh! Oh, hey. Disarm the bear trap. Shack door to cellar. Okay. We will check that out in a moment. I want to check out the main house first. There's a bunch of bear traps all over here. I pity anyone who comes to this spot without the, uh... Without the light foot perk, or whatever it's called. The one that makes it so you don't activate floor-based traps. Ooh! Shotgun. And shells. Nice. Anybody in here? Yes. There is one person.
There you go. Medics and jet. Nice. Eh. Um, is that all that's in here? Just one guy? I mean, I mean, I guess most of them were outside. Fission battery. We need that. Oh god damn it! Fission batteries are heavy. No. No. Um. I don't want to use too many of those. Because I have a feeling we're going to be getting a lot of use out of that, uh... Pause fishing aid. Alright. Lever action rifle. That can be repaired, right? With the other lever action rifle. Yeah, that could... That could use a... A thing. And... Saw rifle. That's for the perforator. Perforator could use a repair. Sure. Alright. Let's try to use some grenades next. Because... Jeez, you guys got a lot of dead bodies in your house. Yeah, I'm going to try to use some grenades next, though, because the uh, grenades take up weight. And I've collected quite a few. Then again, I'm partially tempted to save the grenades for when we have to fight the robots. Because grenades are really effective against robots. But, uh... Oh well, whatever. It's more important to free up inventory space. We can always kill the robots in other ways first. Huh. I'm just... Uh, don't, don't pay attention to me. I'm over here. You can't... You don't notice me. Just call me John Cena. You can't see me. Keep... Keep killing them. My alert king. Come on, just keep spitting at them. Kill all the ghouls for me. Like that. Thank you. <laughs> slowest... Slowest, uh... Butchering I've ever seen. Dude, just do it. Hurry up already. Kill them, please. I can't walk up there and comfortably shoot you until you've killed all of them for me. That would be... A waste of resources to kill you before you've killed them, because then I'd have to waste ammo killing them as well. Alright, just one more. Spit at him. Get him. Get him. Come on, dude. What's wrong with you? Why is he so hesitant? Thank you. There you go. Alright, and the ghoul is dead! And now I can get that sneak crit. There you go! Awesome, everybody dead? Everybody's dead. That was a swamp lurk, huh? Nice. Again, I'm liking, you know, it, these sorts of, uh... I, I don't normally, uh, I'm not normally a big fan of, uh, recoloring enemies and then basically just reusing the model. Um, it's usually sort of lazy, for lack of a better word, but I don't mind it when it's like this, because, uh, it's actually changing the theme of the enemies. By making them into swamp versions of, uh, the regular enemies, you're changing the theme of them and making them, like, like, it makes sense that there would be Meyer Lurks out here in the swamp. And instead of just saying, oh look, here's Meyer Lurks, instead you'd you know change the color slightly. A Deathclaw hand, they even captured Deathclaws, dang. And lots of dog meat, and I'm trapped in here. <laughs> trapped in the cooler. Somebody get me out. Bobby pin, nice. Um, but yeah, you know, it makes it makes sense that there would be Mirelurks out here and ghouls and stuff like that. And instead of just simply reusing the, uh, whoops, 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 whoops. Instead of just straight reusing the model, they actually, uh, object is activated from elsewhere. Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. 
Why can't we, uh... Why can't we just open that? Hmm. Oh, electrical switch. Oh, could we have pressed that and they would have attacked each other? But I bet it would have opened this one too and made us vulnerable. So I like the way I did it better. Swamp Lurk, do you have anything for me? You've got some delicious Meyer Lurk meat and soft shell Meyer Lurk meat. Mm mm mm. And two safes. Oh, and a bit of pre war money on top. Thank you. Well, let's open the very easy one first because we can just force the lock with 100% efficiency. And we get some decent stuff from it, I guess. We don't need the silenced pistols, though. Alright. And this one, let's try to force it. There you go, 85% is good enough. Alright. Eh, some more decent stuff, I suppose. Alright, let's get out of the radiation as I wrap up this episode, because that's all the time I have for today. When we come back, we will uh, continue to, I guess, just trudge around in the shitty swamp water and uh, make our way over to the place where we have to do the trial or whatever for uh, for the people over at the Ark and Dove Cathedral. And, uh, yeah, I, I hope I, I made my uh, point clear about the, you know, re-theming of enemies. How I think that's, you know, that's, it, it makes sense. So, yeah. It, it's because it's, it's better than just literally reusing the same character models. And, uh... Ooh, Myrler cakes. Oh, wait, that's just a regular type of food, isn't it? I'm not sure. But there's bottle caps all over here, so I'll take those bottle caps. Thank you. But, yeah. Anyway, that's all for now. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.